welcome to my channel it's Rebecca also known as Four Kids 147 and we're going to do another little whip and chat for my heaven and earth designs and um, you're going to be proud of where I'm up to but first off I thought I'd let anybody know who's new what it is that I'm doing and um, I do have a heaven and earth designs playlist that goes through the whole process of me setting up and you can see how I've worked has changed um, as it's evolved but this is what I'm doing so it's a heaven and earth designs pattern I'm doing the super sized little dreamers tree in max colors because I don't do things by halves um, and if I can get the image close enough it's a really really long image so it's a really really long one but it's quite thin um, now my plan with this is to say it's a cross stitch pattern so you do it on a blank canvas, a blank diamond painting canvas, um, but you, instead of doing a cross stitch, you do a diamond. So for each cross stitch is one diamond. Um, now my plan with this um, and what I've been doing is I've been doing this primarily with my spare diamonds. So I have been diamond painting for a while. I have done quite a few. So I am using mainly spare diamonds. Um, now it did start off as being my spare diamonds um, and it has extended to being mine and other subscribers spare diamonds um, because people have been kind enough to send me spares. Now one thing that did change is I did originally start doing it off the pattern itself so let me so I printed it all out so I printed all the chart out i've got, still got it in the pdf but i printed it out um, and i was marking them off as i went along now i did that for the primarily the first part of the page um, and then i did change to a pdf viewer on my ipad um, until that had an update and it didn't work as well and in between the time when i think it was in between the time i started um, they brought out an app called um, or somebody brought out an app called Pattern Keeper. So this is it, I don't know if you can see this properly, sorry because of my lights, uh, but it's called Pattern Keeper. It is only available on Android, but it is an absolute dream. So it does work with Heaven and Earth Designs. It is, um, I wouldn't say limited, it does work with a lot of cross stitch patterns. Um, but not all. So if you want to do something from a different company, they do have a Facebook group. Um, I recommend you check those out if you do want to use this app. But this is my pattern, so just check them on Move. So you can see here it shows everything that I've done. Now those little white gaps are um, diamonds that I don't have. So they're still left white because I've not filled them in yet. So when you zoom out, if I can, I think that's the limit, it'll zoom out because of my pattern. Um, you can see the image as it's done, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and you can see I've got this little space in here that I've not yet done. This is what we're gonna work on today on the whip and chat. Um, I did purposefully leave this section while I was working across last night um, and the reason is is this has less colours so I can do the whip and chat with you guys without moving um, and changing what I'm doing um, changing the diamonds and stuff as often I figured it would be better um, oh just turned it off um, it'll be easier to chat with you guys while we do it. So I work on a six grid section. So it's 20 by 60. I find that is a nice size so I can see everything and I don't have to move the pattern until I'm ready to do my next section. So you have the move button, which allows you to move like we've just done. Once you've got it in the right place, you can use the search button and tap on a particular symbol and it will search for that symbol. But what I prefer and what I've not always been doing but only just found out is if you stay on the highlight button but keep this bar down the centre, 
you can actually click on each symbol to see if you have any highlighted in that section. Now the first one in this section is the number 300. But what this also does is it counts down how many diamonds or how many stitches that you've got left. Um, so there are a few, so this has only got three left. There are a few that I've actually done already. I don't need any more. Um, and I've actually unkitted those from my Heaven and Earth Design Diamonds. Um, and put them into my normal spares so I've still got them but when it comes to me de-kitting a kit I'm only topping up diamonds that I need um, I then use this sort of it is a tablet tray um, I did get it with the intention of potentially using it for a diamond painting to be propped up but I found it just works absolutely fantastic for my tablet um, so that I can see what I'm doing but to show you where I'm up to, which you will all be, I'm sure, so proud, um, I took this into my front room um, for a period of time. Let me just move these out of the way so I can show you. Um, I took this into my front room for a period of time so that I could get a batch done. Now, I think last time I did a weapon chat, I was up to around here because we have the birds showing in the trees. Um, and I've since done all the way down here. I say there are some that are missing um, and this is wrapped around um, a piece of pipe legging. I find it's, it's not as thick and as chunky as a pool noodle um, and definitely easier to find in the UK. Uh, pool, noodles, pool noodles aren't as easy to find. Um, so yeah, so I've, the birds, where I was before, we actually come all the way down and I've got this little part of a hut and we've got like a little, I think it's a little fairy thing here and there's definitely a fairy up here and there's a butterfly over here. So it then works down and this part is like a little heart in the tree. Um, and say I decided to do this part with you guys so because it's less color changes I figured it would be easier for me to be able to chat and diamond paint with you without um, having to you know just get one diamond for a particular color so um, this is my section now these grids I have drawn on myself um, because this, my blank canvas, let me show you actually. So I haven't prepped the next section yet at all, but my blank canvas didn't come with the 10 by 10 grids um, already on it. So I'm drawing my own. I don't find it causes any problem with the canvas itself. Um, and of course you're covering it up anyway. So even my lines that aren't that straight don't really matter, but it helps me while I'm doing it. So what we'll do is we'll do this section and then I'll show you how I am now prepping up each section and I just do it strip by strip as I'm going along. There is no point in spending a load of time doing it all at once. So that is the basis of it. So I'm just going to get that rolled out so that my tablet, in fact, let's see if it can sit there. I want to give myself enough space to work on. When I'm in the front room, I'm on a table that is only as wide as this painting. So I tend to allow the top part, while rolled up on the pipe lagging, to hang off the edge. And this part sits on my knee. And that's how I work. Um, I've brought in my big tray from the front room because I do much prefer working on the big trays. Um, and then I do have all my boxes. So I have four of these. Um, that gap is one that I'm missing. So I have pulled out two, um, there is three of them, but one of them's the first number um, that I am completely out of. So I've pulled them out so that, you know, it's just a quick reminder. And then some of them, like these, which have got nothing in and no label, are numbers that I don't need anymore. Um, I may squash the cases down into three, but that will only be when I have enough blanks to do that, if that should happen. So I'm gonna move a couple of cases around to the side 
and I'm going to get my first case, which is my number 151 to 601, um, because I'm just going to work all the way down these numbers. I find then I'm only dealing with one case at a time. Um, when I do start a square, if it has 939s in it, which is a square symbol, I do tend to do those first, just gives me some placement, but then I go straight to the beginning. So that's enough chatting. So 300, um, let's tip some 300s out. There is a few, but not, not too many on this one. Um, and then my 10 by 10 grids, of course, help me to place them. So we're going two over on that one, and then a gap of three. And then this one's, oh, I need some more wax. This one's down the bottom with a gap of three. And then because it's on the highlight already, I can just then start highlighting the ones that I've done and marking them off. So we're going three down and then on the second row. And then two across and one down one to the next of it and it depends on you know how scatty things are over to how soon that I do decide to sort of mark them off but I sort I like to mark them off as I go along and um, it just means I can double check that I've not missed any though I do still miss the up one and then before I miss it, there's one right up in this top corner and then I hit the tick button and it changes it from being a highlighted symbol with a bar around it. Let me show you. Um, it changes it to the actual colour and when you click off that number to highlight another one, it just goes the solid colour. When you've got it highlighted, it's got like a little circle inside it. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um, but I like to mark them off to check that it's done. Let me just make this a bit higher so the light's not shining off it for me. Um, and that gives me a chance to check that I've not missed any. And then we'll pop those away. Let's see, this one does have quite a few, you know, quite a few of each of most of the symbols that are on it. But then you just keep moving down until you get to the next one that becomes highlighted. Um, I've got a little bit familiar with with the symbols around a certain section, so sometimes I can miss out a chunk. But so now we've got black, of which I've got loads. I actually emptied this pot last night, so I had to get my big bag and big bag of spares and fill this up again, and then we just carry on with this colour. And I just sort of do each little, I try to do each square um, as one. But sometimes I go all the way across, depending on how many. It's one of those, by varying that up, it actually keeps a little bit more interest for me as well, I find. And then as I'm placing the diamonds, so... This one I placed because it was near a block of 10. Let me zoom you in a bit. Wrong way. Let's try that way. Um, so this one I placed because it was near an edge. It was less counting. Um, and then I placed this one based on this and this one based on this. Um, but in turn, I did double check the amount of spaces down to the bottom as well. So it's like you're cross checking that you are putting everything in the right place. Um, it's it's just can be a little bit easier. It just means that you you are pretty sure that you've put it in the right place. Um, it can get a bit more complicated as you go along, and I have put the odd one in the wrong place. But luckily, because I'm doing it in a full block, I've managed to find it and move it as I've gone along. Put those three in, and then that one, and that is that whole square. Now, occasionally I do hit the tick button just so that it saves those um, before I then move on to another section. It all depends on how many 
um, diamonds I'm likely to be placing, to be honest. So we'll get those two and then down here. So how is everybody doing? Um, say I have th this heaven and earth design, it's sort of, I think it's when I'm running out of colours that I get a little bit disheartened. <laughs> When, I, when I've got quite a few gaps, it sort of slows me down a little bit. Um, I do have a couple of the colours, or at least the two colours that I'm out of. Um, I do have them on order. I did order like a little pot of them from China, but they're not here. Um, they've, they've been shipped. They've been well and truly shipped. But every time the post comes, they don't come through my letterbox. So um, that is a little bit disheartening. And there is a couple of colours now that I'm also getting like extremely low on. There was a green colour I did pinch from my daughter's painting. She's doing a turtle painting at the moment. Um, and she's taking her time with it. But she did allow me to pinch a few. <laughs> So uh, hopefully they will end up being spares for her. Um, but the, the diamonds on their own, I think it's because they're a small packet from China, um, are definitely taking a lot longer to come through than, let me get rid of that rubbish one, um, than say the, the big paintings are, the big parcels are. Um, it's, it's definitely taking longer. I think there is delays on parcels both in China and coming out of China um, but then I definitely think there's delays when they come into the UK as well uh, but that's just the current situation it's it's what we have to deal with so ooh, I'm definitely gonna need some new wax I think because I keep losing diamonds um, let me do this one and then I'm just going to refill my wax. So I don't find that I have to refill wax loads. Um, but what I do use is I use this little pot. Um, I find it keeps the wax um, like moist, should we say. It's probably a horrible word to use. Um, <laughs> it stops the wax drying out. Let's try that word. That's probably a little bit easier for people. Um, yeah, it, I just find that it stops it drying out. And those little pots, um, you can. I pick up a pack. I think there was a, a there was a series of them in a tray. Let me find the tray. So it was a tray like this. Um, in fact, the pots are just stood up separate, but um, they came like that in it. Um, and it was from the range and it was like a pound. So me and a friend went halves um, because we only needed a sort of a pot each really, but for a pound, um, I've got spare pots now. So there's a few of my um, daughter's friends that she's got into diamond painting, especially during lockdown. Um, I think it's helping giving them something that's something to do that's a, a bit more relaxing for some in some instances. They're doing yoga and all sorts of other stuff, but um, yeah, I can always pass on some pots to them. So that's the next block of black, and then I've just got this square to do now. So yeah, one of I mean. I'm doing a heaven and earth whip and chat because I know you guys are always asking for them and I did figure I've I've actually done <laughs> I've actually done some uh, or done some more this time so it will be nice to be able to give you an update even if it is quicker than some of my updates come um, but one of the other things is I wanted to chat with those that you know watch watch my channel regularly I've had a couple of inquiries um, in regards to whether I have a Facebook group now at this moment I don't have a Facebook group but I do want to know 
your guys thoughts on it um i know there are a lot of diamond painting groups out there for, for definite i've i've got no qualms that there is a lot of groups it's whether it is beneficial to people who watch my channel to maybe have a group with other people that also watch my channel um you know people don't have to be as won't, won't say don't i've not got one um won't have to be a subscriber to join I, i'm not trying to be exclusive in any way um but I don't know whether it would be beneficial for people to be able to ask questions, you know, about diamond painting in general, but also in turn about maybe videos that I've posted or things that I've done um, and be able to get the help from other people um, rather than just using the comments in my videos. Um, I do get to the comments as soon as I can um, but sometimes I am aware that it's been a while before I've had a chance to reply and um, kindly some people will reply for me which is fantastic um, it saves it saves somebody waiting to be able to find out and um, the answer to the question but I don't know whether it would be more of a community if I do have a Facebook group and um, so Please let me know your thoughts um, in the comments below. If there is enough interest, I will definitely look into it more, um, into the possibility of, of setting up a, a diamond painting group for people to be able to chat, post their progress, um, and in turn, I, you know, I will, I will find the time to monitor it. Hopefully I can monitor it on my phone. Um, which will be a lot easier than, for example, the comments on YouTube. I need to do that on the computer, which is probably why sometimes I tend to do them in bulk. Um, it's like, okay, computer's out. Let's let's do it now. Um, so yeah, let let me know your thoughts. Will it be good to have somewhere to chat? Maybe those. There's quite a few people I know that are doing the little dreamers tree, um, and there is. A Facebook group for Heaven and Earth Design Diamond Painting which you know people always post on there and I do see posts on there um, from people doing doing their own but maybe it'd be nice to have um, that little sense of community so yeah let me know what you think um, and I'll look into it and see if it's if it's something that I can set up easy enough and we'll take it from there and we'll see how things how things go so sorry I'm just gonna have a drink of my coffee I'm sorry if I slurp I'm trying not to be noisy um so yeah that's that's my view on that well that's my thoughts on that. I want your views on that. So if you could pop your comments down below, that would be absolutely fantastic. And of course, if I do have enough interest, then I'll look into it and more than likely go ahead. I just want to gauge whether it's going to be me and three others or not. Um, so, okay. That's another colour done. So that was the colour 400. Which is proving to be a very popular colour now. And this was a colour that um, needed, I think it needed about 4,000 or 4,500 right at the beginning. Um, and I initially didn't have any. <laughs> it is actually one that I did order. I say I ordered... I think about three or four I did do an unboxing of it um, on, on my heaven and earth design playlist I did order a few colors in pots and um, mainly 939 because at the beginning while I had loads of 939 spares I went through them so quick 
at the top of this design so I did order some more um wow have I really been chatting that long that my memory card saved it's about 20 odd minutes I need to get a move on um yeah sorry I did order 400 um, at the beginning because it needed so many and I didn't have any uh, I think I've had spares in one painting since then maybe um but yeah I'm starting to go through quite a few of those so I'm just skipping down the numbers bit by bit there are some numbers that used to be very popular and I've got a couple here that I have I don't need any of I need one of 603 and that colour's done but I don't know where it is it'll be in the design somewhere and um, I could zoom out and it would sort of tell me where it is but Okay, so that one did give me a highlight, but it's off my six by my three by six square, three three by two <laughs> square. Um, so I won't be doing that one on this one. If I start nudging down with the odd colour, it's just going to cause such uproar. Okay, so that's my first case done. So now I'm on to my second case, and for seven forty, I only need one colour. Um, in regards to the camera angle as well, people did like the camera angle um, where I had it, oop, get straight, um, where I had the, the view coming from here and some people liked it from above. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix it up um, and do a bit of both. I may do a bit of both in separate videos, in the same video, sorry. I may vary up from video to video. A lot will depend on if, if say I start doing it above um, or even in turn start doing it on the stand and my memory card gets full or my battery needs changing, um, then I'll probably vary it up the next time because I have to screw my camera onto the clip um, and, I, and I have to take it off to change it then that would probably be an ideal time but for now I'm thought of doing a mixture of let's see is that gonna is that focused I think it is I think it's just the design is looks pixelated until you zoom out um so yeah I think I'm just gonna vary it now just a little bit of zoom and if need be we'll vary it um and put it on the stand again but we'll play it by ear I'll vary it up for you guys and just keep letting me know if you do have any particular favorites and I'll do my best to do them right so I've just hit let me just zoom you out again wrong way I've just hit one number number 814 look at that okay. This, this painting does have, um, this section does have quite a block of some colours. So let's tip 814 out because I do have a fair amount of those. Um, they're slightly different shades between the two of them, but I don't find that it shows up as being a big problem. Um, if I am doing say I do have a different shade and maybe I have a few in this square and a few in this square then I will try, try and keep the shades in each square um, along the same lines but I don't really panic too much about it um, I've not found that it makes the design look off in any way So yeah, say um, in regards to my progress on this one at the moment, I have taken it into the front room for the last, I think it's only been the last week, week or so. Um, I do diamond paint most evenings. I did have a day off from work because I am working at home. Um, I did have a day off from work an extra day off last week um, because it was my birthday and birthday in lockdown you can't go out can you so I diamond painted all day 
so <laughs> I did get um, to to get in a lot more um, I did get to do some big big chunks of diamond painting which I think really helped this to come along um, but I've come into my craft room now today to do this whip and chat and then this will um, it will stay in here for a bit I'm currently before I took this into the front room I'm in the middle of the three paintings that I got um, that have got a lot of white on and I've got the little yellow bloom things that I'm hoping to put in my hallway um, I completed two of those before I took this into the front room so I'm going to leave this in my craft room again for a bit because I don't want to be lugging the all four cases back into the front room and um, I want to be able to vary it up a bit between this and other stuff plus say a couple of other colours are getting a little bit low on this one and um, I don't want to get to the point where I have a gazillion gaps again because once it gets this big filling in the gaps gets harder it gets so much harder and that is the only problem with doing it um, with spares is that part is when you start running out it gets a little bit trickier but other than that I am loving doing a cross stitch as a diamond painting if we take out the fact that you can run out of a colour um, if you'd actually ordered it as a full kit I'm loving doing this I love the way that it comes together that you just you can sort of see the pattern on others I feel like this is more of a challenge um, and in fact that's another thing these whipping chats are the chance for me to check out what you guys think to stuff so I've been having um, I've been having thoughts on what sort of content to bring to my channel. Now, some things do just happen. So I have a particular thing arrive that needs unboxing. Sorry, I've just hit two that I haven't actually filled in and I can't get them to go off. I think it's just my fat fingers, so we'll put those diamonds down. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, I've been having a thing. Some things do just happen. It's something that I see and I think, yeah, that's awesome. Let's order it. And of course, we've then got an unboxing of it. There are some things that I potentially wouldn't order unless I had this channel. Um, and I order it purely for the reason that it's a little bit different and I think it's something that people might be interested in and they may want to see what it looks like um, which is fine I, I enjoy that um, but I'm always trying to think of content that is new and may well maybe not even completely new as such but is different is different for me um, and it's things that you guys might want to know or be interested in so one of my thoughts was around heaven and earth designs so i know there's been more interest in heaven and earth designs and um, this these whip and chats always bring up more questions um but i didn't know whether to do another heaven and earth designs image but maybe do the complete ordering process maybe from start to finish i don't know if that's something that would interest people so maybe it's not something that you know is going to be like this design um in the fact that i'm doing a long series on it but maybe something that is more of a where can you order from? How do you order? How do you work out the sizing of your chart? Things like that. Um, 
I don't know whether I'll answer everybody's questions um, that they may have over Heaven and Earth Designs, but I'll try to make it um, an easy process for people. Oh, that's in the wrong place. It's because I'm chatting. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. There are a, a couple of different ways of ordering the items you need for Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, so you can order the canvas, I think, and the diamonds like separate, separate or you know from the same seller. But basically, you order the the, can, the blank canvas and the diamonds from AliExpress, or you there is an option. Um, I know there is. I think. An, her name begins with a B. I want to say Brandy, but I don't know if that is her name. Um, who's in the States, which is why I'm not sure, because I'm not in the States. Um, and there is Smith Speeds in the UK, where you can just give them the design that, that you want to do. Um, and because the Heaven and Earth... So this is Heaven and Earth Designs only, but... Because the Heaven and Earth Designs list of colours and how many stitches you need, which means how many diamonds you need, um, is available on their website. While you buy the pattern to be able to do it, the seller, i.e. Smith Speeds, is able to see the quantities of everything that's needed. Um, and they do a service, I think. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, where you just tell them the design that you're doing and they give you the price quote for all the diamonds and the canvas, I think, and the canvas, um, that you'd need to do it. And then you just pay them and they organize it and ship it. So maybe I need to do, if I'm gonna do a video on it, um, maybe I need to do the longer way, <laughs> the ordering it yourself, uh, because I don't think there's gonna be much of a video if I just sent an email to Smith Speed saying, I wanna do this pattern, can you sort me out? Hmm, yeah. So anyway, if is there enough people that are thinking of doing Heaven and Earth Designs or wanting to do one? Um, let me know your thoughts to that, and that might be something that I can look at doing Ooh. I can look at doing in the future um, and maybe I'll get it'll be a, definitely be a smaller one um, because I'm not I wouldn't be doing it from spares I'd be ordering the diamonds in um, I don't have to worry about the image as much so if you've seen my videos on on my heaven and earth designs playlist you'll know that part of the reason i picked this painting um apart from the fact that it's long and thin so while it's still a challenge it's a manageable with rolling it up um i also chose this design because of the shading so i recognize that sometimes the shading is a little bit different um, on the on the drills from each seller and I wanted a design that if the shading was a little bit different it wouldn't make the painting look awful so for example if I was trying to do a face maybe a face that had a few different shades in it um, and some of the shading was off on the diamonds that I was using it could make the face look horrible um, and I didn't want that, so that's part of the reason I picked this. Um, but I could I could pick, say, a mini. I think they do um, mini kits that would, not mini kits, mini charts. Um, maybe not with max colours, because again, the reason I chose max colours is even though some of them you may only need five diamonds, because I was using my spares, I was not going to be ordering full packs. Um, so I could do a design that's not max colour, which means I'm less likely to only need one or two diamonds of something. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, 
it may even be something that maybe I'll combine it with a few spares depending on the numbers I don't know um, I haven't looked into it fully um, because it might be something that, that that you guys aren't interested in so let me know your thoughts um, I'm definitely not ready to actually fully do another heaven and earth designs yet though I'd love the kitten up I would love the kitten up um, of a big one even if it was a marathon I could I could be kitting up for days it'd be great um, and that probably fills some people with horror <laughs> but I actually like the kitten up um, so yeah let me know your thoughts and again if you've got any thoughts of any other um, videos that would be good to do let me know um, the size comparison video that actually came as um, a video that somebody would like to see so where I did the four Alice in Wonderland um, that's actually something that Tess mentioned that she'd like to see or to know um, and it grew from there and I really enjoyed doing that one even if it was four paintings um, but yeah I think that that worked out really really well um, and as a good comparison so yeah uh, lots of comments to leave below please um, videos that you want to see video ideas that you may want to see the one thing I'm not very good at um, because I don't do it um, for people that are wondering is I, I don't see all my diamond paintings I, that's just one thing I have never never done even diamond paintings that um, don't have don't go in a glass frame I don't see all them it could be a bad thing but I just don't do it um, I have a big diamond painting in my front room of which the review for that is coming up soon I actually managed to get um, get a video of that done I kick, kick the kids out the front room basically um, so I managed to get that video done and I haven't sealed it and I don't have diamonds dropping on my head so I call that a win in my opinion so that's that one done so it's coming together quite quickly this square block because it's got a lot of um, blocks of colour there's not as many different colours in this one some ones like especially over here, these green, oh, that has got so many different colours in it, so many. But this app has made working on this painting a dream, to the point I even purchased an Android tablet to do it. Because it's not available on iPad, it's not available on Apple, unfortunately, but you get two weeks free trial um, and then it's $7.99 even with the price of the tablet and then the $7.99 I'd, I'd pay it again this app is I've got no regrets whatsoever this app is absolute gold um, and I highly recommend it for anybody that is doing a heaven and earth designs even for a cross stitch um, even when I was doing cross stitch, which I've still got the stuff, I just haven't done it for a while, but um, I would find this, this app a dream. It's just so much quicker to mark things off than picking up a pencil. And I need to remember to drink my brew because it's going cold. So I'm just going to have a moment, oh wrong way, I'm going to zoom you guys back out again just so that you get a different view, look at that tree hut, I love that, I love the way it looks um, and this is what I think 
if I remember rightly. It's like a heart within the tree. I'm trying to have a look at the image on the piece. Yeah, it's sort of like a heart within the tree. It does have a little bit of a light, I think, at the bottom. But it is sort of the tree trunk as well. Um, it's very hard to to see on the piece of paper. I actually have saved the image of this um, and I did, it's really long on your camera roll, so I did zoom in and then I took a screenshot of the section I'm working on just so that I could go back um, and see what it looked like. Just so I so I'd sort of also know when, you know, when some exciting new colours and stuff's coming out with with this little fairy and the light, you know, you know that you're getting off doing all these 814s and 815s, all these dark reds or all these browns and greens, you know that you're moving. But it's amazing how quick I've got this section done and I don't think it would have happened if it wasn't for this app. So, where are we? Okay, my, I'm actually being proactive, but my camera is very likely to save very soon. It saves after about 20 something minutes. Um, my memory card just does it to be able to preserve it. So, I'm going to pause and come back. There we go, quite a simple stop record and then record again. Um, and it stops me getting cut off mid-sentence by my camera. So I say, can we, well, not as I say, I haven't said it yet. Oh, I'm losing it. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it an absolute dream to work on on this canvas at the moment um, it's amazing how many times I'm actually what how many sections was it I was getting through so I was doing this I was getting through about three slash four more often than not three sections um, every evening what have I just done those two um, every evening so I was getting through quite a lot probably takes me well we'll see how long it takes me once I've done all this whip and chat but it probably takes me about an hour hour and a half to do each section um, I love listening to um, audio books while I'm diamond painting um, I also love watching YouTube while I'm diamond painting so it tends to vary what I'm doing um, I can sometimes watch TV, oh I've done that one already, um, I can sometimes watch TV but it has to be um, not a thinking programme, um, it can't be something that you have to think about, it's it's just something, um, Gilmore Girls is a good one, I just love listening to them in the background, it gives me the odd little titter laugh, um, of course other diamond painting YouTubers it's always nice to feel as though somebody's painting with you. I'm sure there's many of you that are doing your diamond paintings while listening to this one. Um, and yeah, you just just sewn out. It's amazing how long I can be gone for, just sewing out. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of a nice sharp red now. Um, on this pattern, I'm showing this as it's filling up quite a bit over this side and this is where sometimes I'm just having to double check especially when it's single dots um, that I am getting the right place and then we've got this full section to fill in so that's good I actually had one section I think it was a bit up here I had uh, 3371 and by the time I got to it there was just loads of it it was like I just filled in all the rest all the rest with 3371 and it was done oh okay so say sometimes I still like to work square by square 
Um, so I do like the fact that I've got my lines drawn. It just means I don't go too much, you know, over one way or another. It means I can keep track a little bit better. And then, and I'm always counting, like one, two, three, four. <laughs> two one way, two the other way. And then I like to hit the tick, tick button just because it makes all the symbols darker, which of course they are on here. And then let's do these because these are the only ones in this section. I just think they are, yeah they are. Okay, and then we'll move further down. So we've got one, two, three. And there we go. So how is everybody doing um, in the current situation? Is everybody else getting a lot of diamond painting done? Maybe? Well, there's um, no real reason to go out, potentially. I mean, some of us are still working. I do get that. I'm still working. Um, I'm working from home, but I'm still working. <laughs> so I feel as though while I've probably got more... Oh, it's a bit harsh then. Um, while I've got more diamond painting done in the fact you know that I've not had to nip out here nip out there and of course I have no commute uh, there is no commute to work at the moment it is drag myself out of bed get washed get dressed well sometimes I don't even get dressed um, and <laughs> come downstairs and start on my computer um, there's, there's less commute to work so I'm definitely saving time there which in turn I'm probably more spending on diamond painting um but yeah I do I do miss the fact that everybody I'm a little bit jealous should we say um of the fact that everybody else you know seems to be getting all these spring cleaning jobs done and oh we've done this and oh we've done that and I'm like oh no um I think I'm just still as brain dead when I finish work as I was when I went into work. So I just like to switch off as soon as possible. Um, and diamond paint's my way of doing that. Though, having said that, it is quite handy to be able to put a load of washing on while still working. Um, and in the nice weather that we had in the UK, not so much this last week, but the week before, um, I was able to get I was fully on top of the washing, I was loving it. Um, I was able to to do a load and then just, just nip out and put it out and then go back and get some more work done. So um, I found that's helpful because that then stopped me having to do that on an evening. <laughs> Meant I could diamond paint more. Um, but I haven't found that I've had the energy to do the other stuff. Um, I have finished painting my haul. I can't wallpaper yet because we're waiting. I'm doing um, only a few feature walls of, of wallpaper, but I can't do that yet because we need an electrician to um, we potentially may have to have a new box put in um, because of the conservatory that we're getting. So at the moment I can't wallpaper because he may have to he may have to attack the wall um, and I don't want to paper it and then have to repaper that I, I don't mind doing that stuff like that twice um, so yeah I've managed to get that done but that was getting done before lockdown happens so um, yeah how, how are you guys all doing are you are you getting stuff done um, if you maybe I mean I know it's hard for some people and I know some people haven't necessarily been able to retain their jobs um, I'm not trying to diminish from that at all um, yeah I'm just wondering whether whether people have been able to get 
more stuff done and um, get stuff done maybe that they haven't had the time for due to working um, or oh, whether like me you're still plodding along and and it's not really I mean it's made a difference but it's I definitely don't feel as though I've blitzed my house or anything like that okay so I've just skipped a batch of numbers then which you may have noticed um, which is a bunch of greens um, because I have noticed that those symbols aren't there and if for any reason they are and I've missed them which very well could happen um, I can always jump back um, but it's easier than I've sort of got used to the batch of numbers that that tend to come together um, and on this one it's a little bit easier to do because there is a lot less colours in this one so so I've gone quiet while I'm just counting I'm trying to make sure that I don't fill in that square <laughs> Because while I'm filling in a lot of this, I'm not filling in all of it. And then this one down here. So this heart thing that had a little bit of what looks like a little bit of a light coming through. I think that's what this colour is here. This yellow is. I think that's the beginnings of that light. So I'm going to get that on the next section. Which I'm not sure when I'll do. Maybe when I've finished um, this third panel of the tree things um, I may I may do one of the little ones from fan cells because I do enjoy doing those they get done quite quick um, and then I may bring this into the front room again I'm not sure we'll play it by ear um, if I do end up getting the ones that I'm missing arriving then I definitely will okay if we've got any of those there we go 938 which is another brown I couldn't find it for looking. I needed a few of these. And then we've got the um, other big colour in this one. So there's a few big colours in this one. One is black. There is a lot of black. Um, one is 939s, which at the beginning and up the top was a very heavy colour. Um, and 3371 think they are the ones that got close to tens of thousands having said that this number 938 is nearly 7,000 of them so maybe we'll see some more of these in a bit uh, 939 there wasn't any on this one have we got any of those nope that's a color that I've not got so I think, I think we've just got, I'm just to say, I've just tapped the odd colour that I've I've seen is a, is a dark colour. So this 3371, my pot's getting low, but I do have a load of this um, separate, so I'll probably fill this up. Um, I'm going to fill some of them up, so 902, um, this 3371 another colour that I've got a lot of. Um, I tend to just fill them up when it gets low or runs out. While I'm in my craft room I'll probably just fill them up while they're low. When I'm in the front room I'll wait till they run out and then I nip in the craft room and fill it up. So this is going to fill quite a few gaps on this section and then we should just have the last little bits. Okay that one And then pretty much all of these gaps in this section anyway get filled up. So yeah, we do fill in those three. And then it is, it's everything else. So I'm just going to put those two in a line and then I'm just going to dab away and I don't have to look at the pattern because every single one of these is filled up with 3371. 
So this is what can make um, sections like this that don't have as many colours can make it get completed a lot quicker. And that's where I think if I hadn't gone for the max colour, um, which does have quite the, you know, quite a few odd little bits that are not many of that shade, um, that's where I think I could potentially have done it quicker um, in the fact that it would have less colours. So what you can actually do on this as well is um, choose to, so if you press and hold on one of them, you can choose to select all the unfinished highlighted in that square. So you can just mark them all at once, which is really good. So on this one, we don't have, no, not that one. We don't have those three across the bottom, but apart from that, all the rest of these are filled in. So again, I can just go through, fill in them all in, and then I can mark them all off at once on my pattern. So I'll show you that once I've filled them all in, because otherwise, I don't want to be filling something in before I've done it because it just, even though I can figure it out, it just takes too much brain power. Too much thinking. And then once we finish this section, which this is a big chunk of it, um, I'll show you how I prep my canvas ready for the next one sort of like an extra little bonus. Probably gonna make it a longer video, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me. Okay, so on here, I've already got highlighted everything. All I've done is this square, but if you press and hold, you can choose to select all unfinished highlighted stitches in the square or on the whole page. Um, but I want it in the square and then hit a tick and that will mark them all off. Apart from the fact it seems to have missed these at the bottom. Now that could have happened because of a page break because I did choose to hide all page breaks. Let me choose show page breaks. Yeah okay so that's the reason it didn't do it. There is actually a page break here which is a thick line um, and I think that's the reason that it didn't highlight those bottom ones in the square. Um, so, but I choose not to show the page breaks because I don't see the page breaks on here, so I don't want to see them on there. So let's do it again with the bottom one because that one hasn't got a page break in and it should do it correctly. So one, two, three, I'm leaving all those there, but apart from that, all the rest get filled in. We'll fill all these in and then I'll show you again and hopefully the app will do it because oh, because it hasn't got a page break. So obviously the page break has affected it a little bit. I wonder what page I've got up to then. I think I've got quite a bit further than I possibly thought. Okay, so that's them all done again, so let's try it again. So press and hold on one of them and choose the top option and it has selected them all in the square. So it is the page break that has affected that one. But it's not a biggie. Let's get rid of that one that's rubbish. So I've gone through quite a chunk of those while I've been um, in the front room. Okay, and then, oh, it did zoom past all my numbers, but that was because I've gone into the settings and come back out. How have we got any of these ones? Nope. There we go. So that's the next one. So now we have only got a few 
sort of scatterings. So three, seven, eight, seven. I only need two. So I need one there and one down here. Got any of that one? Nope. I think we're just down to the ones near the end now. So there's a batch across this bottom row that seem to, so the three eighths seem to be in there all the time. So we only need one. And they're such similar colours. Okay, so one of those, then I need the dot, the 3860. See, I've been using this in most paintings, but again, I'm only needing one. So it hasn't got down a lot. Then a 3862, we need four. So we've got one down here, one in there, two over here, and for some reason I didn't highlight that last one that I'd done. I wonder why I uh, so we'll click back on there and highlight that one. And then last but not least, we've got 3863 because that last one at the bottom is one that I've not got. So, trying to get them out without having to tip out the pot because otherwise I'll end up tipping out 20 and I only needed two. Okay, so that is that section done. Can you start seeing the heart part start to appear? Um, now what I quite often do when I've finished each section is I do just give it a roll with the rolling pin um, and I find that just helps to make sure that they set and then what I also like to do is just move this painting down so normally I would be at the far end when I did this because I do work in strips uh, but it gives me a chance to sort of have a quick look at sort of what's coming up um, and sometimes I can sort of see a few different symbols coming in there, which means, oh, I'm up to something a bit more exciting. This one, mm, this, this, this X symbol, which is a blue, um, seem to be getting a bit more of the blues in as I'm coming further down. So maybe the image is coming off the green trees because it does go blossom, green trees, then a gap and then goes into blossoms again. Um, so yeah, it gives me a chance to just have a look, but then I just lock my screen um, and when I'm ready to work on it again, that opens up. So I'm gonna get all my bits together that I need to prep this and I'll come back for the last bit. Okay, so I've gathered my bits. I've also gathered a rolling pin. Uh, I've had this rolling pin for years. It's probably been used more on diamond painting than it has on anything else. <coughs> Okay, so um, I've just rolled over, of course, the diamonds that I've just done. I can roll more round on my tube. Um, I've got paper clips sort of just to stop it unfurling more than I want it to. Um, but I vary where they are according to what I'm working on. But it's now time to get the next section ready. So I use this... Um, 0.75 mil um, permanent marker so I find it's got a nice fine point and it stays put um, it, it can smudge on the um, shiny coating but I find it it definitely works um, for the whole time I'm working on it anyway because this didn't come with 10 by 10 grids so first off I mark just dots two four six Eight. and then when I get to 10 I do a line and then I do it again two four six eight ten so just mark down that line this is sort of the first step that I do and then I do it again so two four six eight ten and mark a line and then two four six eight 10 mark a line and then on here I have been writing 
320. Um, I have been going down in the 20s. That just gives me um, a marker against the pattern. It's sort of like another double check. Now, I do have this very long um, ruler, which actually is a little bit grubby, but um, this was from Basic Grey. It's got a magnet on the back. I actually got it with a scrapbooking mat, but as long as you've got a straight edge that's long enough, it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, and I hold that down, and I hold it down just past the marker. Um, I do end up with a little gap, but it, it's not a big gap. And then I use um, a craft knife to just cut the top paper. So don't press down too hard. You don't want to go all the way through. Um, and then you can just, I think that first bit cut, yeah, lift it up just to double check. You don't want to go all the way through the canvas, so don't do it too hard. Um, but yeah, that's sort of given me, it's probably actually a bit longer than I normally do. Uh, it's probably given me an extra square. And then I get my marker and I get drawing lines. So I pull it back halfway through. Because I have had that little lip, I already know where my marks are across the top. I don't have to count them again because I've already gone past where I've actually been stitching. And I just keep doing that all the way down so i'm marking off my 20 sections and my battery is about to go on my camera because i've just had it on for all the whip and chat so i go all the way across like that and then i do the tens in sections just because then i can do it by sight rather than having to pull the whole strip off and I do that at the top and the next section. So I end up with my grid. So I do that all the way up to about there, put that down, peel that back and do it again. And that'll be prepped and ready. So I'll leave it there while my battery's going um, and I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.